got my honey lemon tea for my throat. Um, all right. There was a video I did when I was uh, uh, four days without sleep, basically. I was sleep deprived. I saw a uh, comment last night that was made by Side Music. And I could have reacted with anger. And there was a little bit of anger. I mean, it, it seemed, uh, it seemed, it seemed a little mean spirited, but it also made uh, a lot of sense. The valid, the valid argument and point he made, it, it really did. And you know, I could have, um, ex uh, pardon me, uh, because of my brother's uh, death around this time, my parents were kind of distressed so I'm trying my best not to get in the way of the crying and stuff there they don't want me to see them do it so but they're being very loud I apologize so I'm trying to focus but anyway side music um thank you thank you very much man for ver uh, very very excuse me I'm uh, my medication is bad my head right now it's like a dubstep cranked up like 67 on the right side of my head so you know uh, but your 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 point was valid aggression and personal attacks aside um, I, I think I, I need to reevaluate my situation and that's what I did. I, I, your comment turned that video into something that I honestly didn't really remember doing because I was really sleep deprived. And I guess I was going for some sort of joke. And I think I just oversimplified a uh, complex situation like bullying which bullying is a very complex situation it doesn't just happen in schoolyards or on the internet it happens by bosses by co-workers uh, you never ever leave a, uh, you never ever go anywhere that where there's no bullies except i guess equestria but hey good luck on that but even there there's bullies but they're they're just far and few here it's like 20 percent of the population are at least bullies i would assume it's uh, it, it's just sad that about bullies because I do the reason I guess I made the video if I can remember the convoluted idiotic sleep deprived logic I had I guess what I was going for was just I view bully uh, as someone's been bullied well till he's like twenty nine which I am right now uh, by either life or people it seems. <laughs> Uh, most most people, mostly people, are the ones bullying me, you know, just cutting you off and then flipping you off you know, when you're driving or, uh, you know, having someone accuse you of being something you're not or being considered subhuman because you're overweight. So there's like a couple of those out there and they take upon themselves to make uh, bigger people seem like they're less significant, blah, blah, blah. It's just I've been bullied for so long. It, it I view it as a childish behavior. And if you're going to act like a child, then children love jingling keys. Maybe that's a, a way to, to appeal to their intelligence, really. But what it what it did was oversimplify a complex situation and it didn't work and i'm so sorry um and it it really it really did um hang on i'm so sorry um things are just a little emotionally charged over here I, it takes a while for me to get over that myself so um, oh yeah, bully. Uh, side music, you made an excellent point. I thank you very much, and I am going to post this on your channel because I think this video is is my redemption. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not going to take it down though because now your your comment actually gave the video meaning to me. It, it opened questions like, can anti-bullying go too far? Can someone be an, so much of an anti-bully, it makes them, themselves, the bully. I could even say that the way you handled, the way you approached... Uh, excuse me, hang on. I could even say that... 
aside your little aggression and calling me a hypocrite, I could even say that was a bullying move in, in, in itself. But, however, personal, like I said, personal, or if I haven't, personal uh, uh, attacks aside, you had a very valid point and it made me reevaluate. Uh, you know, um, how I viewed myself, society, and the issue itself. Uh, can you be an anti-bully but go about it the wrong way? Can you, you know, find, can you find a positive meaning in a negative comment? Or a negative assault. Or even if someone comes to you and just blatantly calls you fag. Like in when I talked about how I became a brony and talked about my brother's death. And talked about my, um, uh, my uh, the other deaths that happened like consecutively. And losing my job and then now losing the ability to sit in any kind of light without getting sick. Because right now I'm very sick from this stupid fluorescent light or whatever it is. I can't tell you. 40 watts, maybe. Anyways. Hang on. Sorry, it, it's getting a little worse by the day. Okay. It's... A little bit of light caught my eye when I was scratching my head, and it took a minute before it really caused me pain. Oh, boy. Okay, I'm going to have to cut this video short now. Uh, be assured, I'm not going to stop making videos uh, with my voices. I'm going to try t rex later on today uh, if I after I lay down and take a couple of my medications. So, uh, in short... My New Year resolution is I want to do two things. One, well, it's three things, but uh, I'll get to it. The first one is I want to start discussing bullying and people who have been bullied, victims of bullying. I'd like you to come to me and talk to me about it. I'm a good listener, and uh, I'm not going to name how many or who or what gender or even what planet they're from, but... I've helped almost five people from suicide since I joined the Brony community, and I've helped two people, well, let's let's say, I can't say that number, I have to say that, but let's just say 111, uh, the most cliched thing I can think of, the most cliched made-up number in the world, the most cliched, oh, little humor you know uh but, uh, but in all seriousness um i want to talk about bullying number two is i want to help dr wolf because his videos has really helped me see things in a different perspective like that negative comment became so inspirational to me actually it gave the video a throwaway half-baked stupidly executed joke and it turned it into a, a discussion for me, a personal discussion, uh, a social discussion, uh, a discussion I want to have with people about the, the complexities of being bullied and, and what bullying is and how can we how can we not try to prevent it as much as try to just get rid of it in a sense of make it a thing of the past, you know, I don't know. I don't know if we can get rid of bullying. I don't know if that's even possible. For all we know, bullies are just going to be out there. Just like some deranged psychopath with a gun always seems to pop up every year. Or the, every plane that flies over Indonesia now disappears for some reason, which is pretty crazy and sad. I have my deepest sympathies to all those who have lost. Uh, I could, I can tell you my feelings, but I'd rather sing them in a, in a new video sometime. Uh, I'd like to cover I Hear Them All by uh, Old Crow Medicine Show because that's what I go through all the time. I just feel so much pain. That's why I can't watch the news. And you really showed me something, side. You really did. I'm being sincere and serious. I even spoke with him after I made the comments and told, and you know, ex extended the olive branch of peace basically and said, you know, hey, you called me a hypocrite and you were a little aggressive. You kind of hurt my feelings a little bit when I was simply making a stupid joke. That's all it was, was just a half-baked idea with poor execution. 
But anyways, feel free to leave comments on that page. And not, not just about the video. I mean, like, talk about things like if you've been bullied. I'd be more than happy than to help you out because, like I said, my second New Year's re re resolution is I'd love, I'd love to help Dr. Wolf with, with, with helping people by listening. That's, that's what Dr. Wolf does, and we need listeners. And I noticed there's a lot of analysts, but there's not as many listeners out there that also analyze. And I'm not, I don't have a degree in psychology, but I've helped five, uh, um, that's not even an adequate number anyways, and I'm sorry that I keep shooting out these, you know, but, you know, it, you know, it's just, uh, I've helped people from suicide and from stopping what they love. And to me, that's more powerful than gold. That's more powerful than money. That means that even I don't get paid, it makes this so worthwhile that I'm on this earth now. And my third revolution, uh, resolution, my third revolution is to take back the Keeblers. We must take back the Keebler factory. <laughs> but my third re resolution is I want to start producing better content and uh, more more interesting things, which I might try to do T-Rex today. So we'll be on the lookout for that. I might try another My Little Pony character just uh, just because villains are, are a tough match. And it seems like I'm very good at villains because I can't wait. Uh, I'm, I am also announcing that I am going to attempt Glass of Water by Discord. It may not be the best, but I'm learning the lyrics as my throat is getting better. So once it's 100%, I'm going to go right on to it. I already got the music set up, and I can record on that, and it will be out there for everyone to see pink and naked. So, in summation, I made a mistake, and I learned. I grew. I became a better person. And you can, too. If you need help, if you need an ear, just give... King Mars a ring, my dear. <laughs> uh, that was so horrible. If you thought that joke was horrible, please say that in the comments. <laughs> Anyways, uh, have a happy new year. I know I will. I've learned something about myself. I grew. Dr. Wolf, thank you very much. Uh, side music, thank you very much. You guys are great. Yeah, don't change. Be yourselves, drink safely, responsibly, and if you use meth, uh, don't forget your toothbrush. Uh, that last one was a stupid joke, so take that one with a grain of salt, and then just basically have a safe, happy new year. All right? Peace out from King Mars. Now, how do I turn this...